Good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about the standard normal curve. Now po, by definition, standard normal curve daw po is a curve with a population mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So, si normal curve po, ba? For example, you have this normal curve. Yung population mean niya po, pwede mag-vary. So, for example, in this example, we have 85 and yung standard deviation niya, for example, is 5. So, ito po, magiging 90, 95, 100. So, dito naman po, meron tayong 80, 75, 70. So, si standard normal curve, meron lang po siya na, if this is the mean, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So actually, my dear students, wala naman sila masyadong pagkakaiba kasi both of these are normal curves. However, dito sa standard normal curve, kaya siya nagkaroon ng zero as the population mean and standard deviation of one, it is because we've used the z-score formula, which is z is equal to x minus the population mean all over the population standard deviation as our standardization. So for example, ikaw po, naka-85 ka po sa iyong um, exam. And yung population mean niya po is 85 din at yung standard deviation is 5. So using our formula, which is Z is equal to X minus the population mean all over the standard deviation, we substitute all of the given. So we have 85, your score, and yung population mean niya po is 85 din all over the standard deviation of 5. So 85 minus 85, that is 0 over 5. And 0 over 5, or 0 divided by 5, that is 0. So my dear students, si score mo ba na 85, matatagpuan po ba sa gitna? Yes. Kaya ibig sabihin, kapag ito pong normal curve na ito, it transform natin through standardization using this formula, magkakaroon po tayo ng ganitong um, standard normal curve. So for example naman, this time, yung classmate mo, yung friend mo, naka 90 siya. So we have x is 90. And the population mean still is 85. And the standard deviation is 5. So using the formula, we have 90 minus 85 all over 5. So that is equal to 90 minus 85, that is 5 over 5, is equal to 1. Any number divided by by itself is 1. Ngayon po, my dear students, si 1 po ba nasa right side ni 0? So di ba po, this is 90, this is 1. So nasa right side din naman siya, kaya ibig sabihin, ito na po siya. Ngayon, try natin naman this time si 95. So, si 95 naman po, minus 85 all over 5. So, that is equal to 10 over 5, which is 2. Ngayon po, si 95 po ba ay nasa right side naman this time ni 1? Opo. So, di ba po, nandito siya pang, kung ito si 0, 1, 2. So, si 95 po ba? Same ng position kay 2. So, same naman po. So, kung titignan nyo po, almost the same. However, dito po kasi, kaya po nagkakaroon tayo ng population mean of 0 and the standard deviation of 1, it is because we use this formula. Opo, and this formula is the formula for the C-score. Okay? Okay. So, for example, we have this problem. Convert each normal variable to standard normal variable. So, ang pinapahanap po sa atin dito is the Z-score. So, again, our formula is Z is equal to X or the random variable minus the population mean all over the standard deviation. So, so that is 97 minus the population mean of 100 all over 12. So, that is negative 3 over 12. That is equal to negative 0 0.25. So, meaning to say, our Z po is negative 0 0.25. This is our final answer. So for our second example, our random variable is 107 and the population mean is 150 and the population standard deviation is 17. So again, our formula is equal to Z is equal to X minus the population mean all over the standard deviation. So we have X is 107 minus 150 all over 17. So we have 107 minus 150. is equal to negative 43 divided by 17. So that will give us negative 2.53 approximately. 
So, ibig sabihin po, our Z value or the Z score po is equal to negative 2.53. This is our final answer. So, what if we are given this example? The C is equal to negative 2.2. And the population mean is 22 and the population standard deviation is 2. This time, our goal is to find the value of x or the random variable. So we have z is equal to x minus the population mean all over the standard deviation. So para po ma-eliminate natin yung mga kasama niya at maiwan na lang si x, kailangan pong i-manipulate natin itong formula. So yung una natin pwedeng magawa is to multiply both sides by the population standard deviation. Cancel po natin siya sa denominator. So, population standard division times the Z is equal to X minus the population mean. Since sabi po natin, our goal is ulit to eliminate the X, kailangan ilipat natin sa kabila si population mean. So, X is equal to the population standard division times the Z plus the population mean. Kaya po, using our new formula, our standard division is 2. Rz is negative 2.2 plus the population mean of 22. So what is our x? So using our calculators, we have 2 times negative 2.2 plus 22. So yung z po natin is, or I mean the x po natin or the random variable is 17.6. So, x po natin is equal to 17.6 and that is our final answer. Okay, for our last example, this time, ang pinapahanap again sa atin is si x or si random variable. So, di ba po kanina na-derive na natin yung formula and that is the population standard division times the z plus the population mean is equal to x. So, we have the population standard division of 3 times the z of 1.5 plus the population mean of 55 is equal to x. So using our formula, our calculators, we have 3 times 1.5 plus 55. So that will give us 59.5 and that is our final answer. x for is 59.5. Ngayon po, my dear students, if ever man na magkaroon kayo ng formula and ang pinapahanap naman this time is the standard division, still derive lang po tayo ako. So we have z is equal to x minus the population mean all over the population standard division. Multiply both sides by the population standard division. Makakancel na siya. So we have population standard division times the z is equal to x minus the mu. So since po yung goal natin, di ba, is to um, ma-isolate si population standard deviation kasi halimbawa siya yung hinihingi sa problem. So divide both sides lang natin by z. So our population standard deviation is equal to x minus the mu all over z. So ito po, my dear students, ang ating formula kapag ang hinahanap po is finding or the population standard deviation. That's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye!